Do you have anything to say to someone trying to start out in this bodybuilding, watching you, a fan? Mm, no. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Nasser El Sambadi was a bodybuilder from the Golden Era, competing professionally in the IFBB League while also holding a profession as a political scientist. Born on October 15, 1965, in Stuttgart, Germany, Nasser had an Egyptian father and a Serbian mother. He is now remembered as one of the most prominent bodybuilders of all time. From a young age, Nasser explored various sports like soccer, swimming, and rowing. However, he initially dismissed bodybuilding as an unattractive sport. In 1985, while studying at a university in Germany and after playing soccer, he stepped into a gym where he encountered a seasoned bodybuilder. This marked the beginning of his arduous journey into professional bodybuilding. Nasser faced numerous challenges along the way. He lacked a personal trainer and bodybuilder friends and had to navigate this path alone. Even his father disapproved of his hobby, viewing bodybuilders as individuals who engaged in pointless pursuits with no future prospects. After participating in several European competitions, Nasser realized that bodybuilding was truly appreciated mainly in the United States. Consequently, he made the move there. He earned his professional status after securing 8th place in the Grand Prix Finland in 1990. He gained the nickname Professor due to his extensive knowledge, fluently speaking seven languages. Nasser competed nine times in the Mr. Olympia competition, starting in 1994 when he achieved sixth place. Hello, want to build muscle but can't do it? This book will teach you how to build muscle without roids. Inside, you'll discover three ready-made training programs, nutrition strategies, recovery techniques, lifestyle integration, link in the description this led to a contract with joe weeder allowing him to continue his career in the united states over time his physique became less aesthetically pleasing and more focused on mass in 1997 he controversially placed second at the olympia a decision that he and the audience disagreed with he argued that his more aesthetic physique better muscle definition, symmetry, and lack of torn muscles, unlike the winner Dorian Yates, made him the rightful champion. One of the biggest losses of Nasser's career was the over 5 million US dollars spent on advertising and preparation for the 1997 competition, where he felt he was unjustly defeated. He lost credibility and felt cheated, with many agreeing that he should have won. Unfortunately, bodybuilding lacked precise criteria, often leading to unfair decisions. Despite his skepticism about the sport's corrupt and politicized nature, Nasser's love for bodybuilding remained unwavering. His obsession with the sport was evident, driven not by foolishness, but by a deep passion. One of Nasser's career highlights came in 1999 when he won the Arnold Classic, defeating Kevin Levron, Jay Cutler, and Chris Cormier. However, this victory came at a cost to his health. Towards the end of his life, he suffered from a staph infection in his shoulder caused by substandard oils used in bodybuilding. Multiple surgeries were necessary to rectify the issue. In November 2012, Nasser was hospitalized in San Diego for respiratory issues. At that time, he was diagnosed with heart failure and kidney damage, requiring a heart transplant that he did not qualify for. Nasser was known for shedding light on the kidney problems that plagued many bodybuilders due to the use of diuretics. His openness about this issue, affecting individuals like Flex Wheeler, Don Long, and Tom Platts, provided valuable insights into the harsh realities of the sport. On March 20, 2013, at the age of 47, Nasser passed away in his sleep due to kidney and heart failure. The exact cause of his death remains uncertain, but there is speculation about the impact of steroids throughout his career and the severe consequences of oral diuretics, particularly Lasix. An autopsy revealed that his heart weighed twice as much as an average person's, and he weighed over 130 kilograms at a height of 5 feet 9 inches. He spent his final days in Cairo, Egypt, surrounded by his family. So it's hot. No, I go to the garden and use it, you know, myself a little bit.
but I'm uh, going back to the same old look, uh, being big, hard, and uh, for sure straighted and uh, also symmetrical. And I hope it will definitely make an impact uh, on this year's Olympia. Hey, we launched our own clothing brand. T-shirts, hoodies, men's and women's. Follow the link in the description.